Real simple, you open your maps. We are in Trebo Oroquan. I will circle that now. You get my butchered English. It's a it's a lovely place. I did that in group chat, so you're not even gonna see it. I will switch to global now. It's this <laughs> nice spot. Alright. Now, lovely landmarks for you to know is uh first off, this is a Republic planet. Don't ask me to name it, because I honestly didn't care when I looked at the uh notes of this planet, but you know, I'm just a humble contract broker. What do I know? Anyway, the Republic has a uh, an airbase over to the uh, west of our AO here, and they've got a FOB to the east. Now, why do I need you guys? Well, I contracted someone to shoot down a lat convoy, except he shot it down in the wrong spot, and it went really close to that Republic FOB. And they're probably really, really pissy that their lats got shot down. So they might shoot you on sight thinking you're the guys that did it. But one of them was carrying this. Do any of you know what this is? Okay, well. I hope it's not, but it's something that someone's paying me about. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the exact number of credits, but enough to pay you guys to retrieve it for me. So find it. Get it. Bring it back here. Special rules of today. Uh, this is two life. So if you die twice, you're done today. This is because I'm testing to see what you guys do as a uh, simulated contract admission that we would have in the campaign. Uh, how many lats were shot down? Four in total. Are there civilians? Maybe. Uh, they might have been evacuated because four lats were shot down in that yellow shaded area, which you're sure... Uh, searching in. Uh, the lats are probably going to be smoking, so... Uh, you have a guy with a jetpack and he can go high, you can look. Otherwise, try to find an opening. Otherwise, good luck. Any did questions? The do the Republic forces know that we are on planet? Uh, no, but they know someone shot down their lats, so they're probably going to be uh, going to the lats. Is there anything important about the Republic base? Say again? Uh, is there anything important about the Republic air base? Um, it'll probably be where lats come from and do air patrols on, and the FOB uh, probably has some armored vehicles as well. But they're going to be very limited in their mobility because this is thick forest jungle, if you will. Question, are we gonna, is that a physical item we're able to put inside of our backpack? So, good question. To... Uh, when you look at it, you'll get an interaction uh, for 10 seconds to hold the space bar or the enter key down, and then it will disappear. Everyone will get a pop-up to know that someone picked it up, and then you can come back here. With these um, one-offs, I have been doing some, uh, I've been adding more and more assets here. But what? What is causing that? I mean, if it spikes up again, we'll know it's uh, not the teleports doing it. I didn't have any crashing issues when I made the file. But if it ricochets again... It might have also been literally one guy disconnecting the server accommodating for him. It's hard to tell. Anyway, let's uh, let's have the first firefight get kicked off. Come on, shoot each other. See, all I need is to do that and I can literally drag them away, but that's why I set them to invincible. So what I can do is I can have another security team run over in the direction away from them. But no, I think that lag spike was literally someone's internet connection. Why is this happening again? 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, just load your kit. I'll teleport you up. But it looks like teleports might be causing weird, random I can, crashes. I can run, so I can run. it's fine. I can just triple time it. Um, you sure? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I got a different way I can teleport you actually without doing a teleport command. Uh, just hold still. Am I gonna go onto a ladder? I'm gonna teleport you to Thromboy because I think he's waiting for you. So yeah, if you if for whatever reason when you're Zeusing you have something weird happen where if you teleport people you get some weird spikes because I've seen that in Sarsim before. That was a weird one, but it does happen. Um. Just attach them to a copy of themselves, and it'll still work, but you won't, you know, have the server process the teleport request. Again, weird how that happens, but it you just gotta know how to go around it. But, you know, usually I do it twice, I verify that that's the issue, because, you know, it's not happening anymore, it's not like any assets have changed on the server. So you just got to find another way to do something because Arma is filled with millions of different ways to do something. That's a hyperbole, obviously, but, you know, there's more than one way to cook an egg in uh, this sandbox game. To say the least. So again, being a little meta here to have the uh, four-man group run into them, but it's also to kind of help uh, save the plot here. They've regrouped. I hope they get in radio range of the other guys now, except maybe Thromboy went AFK, so now he's waiting on him. But yeah, again, this is uh, a Mandalorian unit that is run by uh, two ex-members of the 501st who are personal friends of mine, uh, Moon and Walrus. They're, they got good heads on their shoulders. They just want to have fun with uh, Star Wars stuff. And they're doing a Mando unit, which uh, no one else is doing. And this lets me also get my, uh, my Star Sim binge. So... I don't think they even notice that they're being engaged. So I'm gonna try to run up there, but they might not notice. I just saw the tail of somebody. Now I think they just noticed they got engaged. What I can do though, and these guys are set to combat, so that's why you see these guys kind of uh, bunching out like this. Understood. Yeah, you hear that faintly through the wind. Key that group too. Take these guys, throw them aside. On the way. So I'm gonna have these guys start backtracking back over to the base. I guess Thromboy went AFK or something. But again, just a little bit of a story and then we go from there. But it's easy to um get lost in these uh, fours here. But this was supposed to be like a quick 30, 45 minute op anyway. I, I had another op planned for Colo where it would be like, you know, in the middle of Republic VSCIS thing, but I just didn't like the AO that ended up being designed. And I couldn't find a better angle for them to assault it on. So I just scrapped it. Overall, just a little bit of stuff here and there. I'm going to get the lad up in the AO. Because by now, they would be calling for that air support. Contractor, so let this be advised. We have the Times 1 uh, Mandalorian that is AFK. He'll regroup with us once he comes back over. Roger out. Makes it easier. But I'm pretty sure the teleport command is having some weird bugs right now, so I don't want to really use it. 
I'll go ahead and infringe that site. They're sending two guys out to scout. Again, I will throw those guys ahead. But I, I do that because it's supposed to help make the, uh, you know, just make the AI a bit more mobile because uh, even vanilla AI can be a little less on the mobile side. Like, I'm pretty sure this is vanilla AI, and these guys, as you can see, they're set to combat, so they're all kind of, like, looking for the t uh, targets instead. Solid copy. Understood. So, what I'm going to do now... Send this puppy around. Waiting orders. Ready for orders. Again, we're gonna have we're gonna kinda show where they're moving. On the way. So it's definitely within their audio range. This one, I don't mind actually having some survivors. And then we can run a rifle squad, but this is all about making our own lore, you know what I mean? Copy. Understood. Solid copy. Having these adjust from around. Yeah, nice plot. Okay, I don't mean to be distant, it's more so I'm also texting Bloodwing. Because she needs some extra, some extra loving. So that's uh, Hernandez. When I see him spawn in, I will uh, go ahead and give him the 411. Copy that! Copy that! Let's also have these guys uh, eliminate that four man fire team. Where's the AT guy? Roger. So the question becomes, uh, can I get this lat to come over here? On the way. In time before I have to move the, uh, move the units. Oh, that was a single shot. Okay. Here, I'll GK him, but I'll put the guys back. And let's Send bound them up. Team six. B. So, I mean, these guys are using their own gear, so they're probably going to be able to guess that, you know, it's some other Mandalorians doing some stuff right now. I find that kind of funny, though, that this is the crash site we've ended up making. And that we have a body stuck in a tree. <laughs> but, D-Man, thank you so much for the... 14 month resub my man i hope you keep enjoying the operations and i hope you get a kick out of this one now why Understood. that's because the auto rifleman has too much weight on him so he's uh, forced to go on a, a force walk there interesting
Yeah, then we have this security team still coming back. And it looks like Thrawn is finally caught up, so let me, uh... Handle him here, but D-Man, thanks for the 34-month resub again. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a kick out of this one. Bro, I swear to God, if you completely missed the fact that there was that dude right there... And then again, I, I should probably say something global about the teleports I'm doing. There goes Hernandez. All right, that's um, unfortunate there. This could also be unfortunate. Roger that. But yeah, no, they got to go to kind of an open area here, at least to see the smoke nearby. But this is not the AO... Uh, that's designed here, but they've got very limited scope. I was thinking, um, you know, Walrus or Moon would go up with their jetpack to kind of, you know, see the smoke trails, but might not be the case here. But hell, I hope all you guys are staying safe from COVID because it's, it's a nasty business, man. Here's the really fun thing I'm about to do. Make sure they're out of line of sight here. Sometimes you just gotta do it yourself. The reason they're doing that is because of how the squad dynamic is, but I think at this point I can delete them because that's all the guys that I want killed. Now these guys are getting shot and they're engaging uh, vehicles. I think I'll uh, put in a request for a lat in a little bit. We'll get this lat in the air. Copy that. But yeah, as far as the Republic concerned, they're being attacked by a shit ton of Mandalorians here. So let's go ahead. I like the uh, the lat from 3AS because that's the armed one. We're also going to get that walker to start coming in the AO. Standing by. They've crawled up here again. That tank's gonna try to pull back. Solid copy. And now we got this other group coming up. So what I need to now do is go at this airbase position. We're going to grab a lap mark two, and I'm gonna load it with a shit ton of dudes. So, thinking two squads should be able to fit in there, right? Two rifle. Ready. Ready for orders. Put them in that. Wow. That. Okay. I I would have assumed that a lat would be able to fit all that, but I guess I was wrong. Never assume, guys. Always, you know, actually test your features. Don't be like Liru here, but at the same time, that was a pathetically small amount of people to fit in a lat. So let's let's try this again. Waiting orders. Copy. Copy. And we can send it back. So I might have to get ready to, uh... Waiting. 
Okay, that's an HQ security squad. We don't necessarily want to do that, but I do want a um, security squad to head over there, and I want these two to at least collapse on that position because the, uh, the bad boys are going to be going down there too, so I'm going to go ahead and break these guys apart. We're going to have them collapse down there too. Let's see if we can get them to run into each other at the right time. Hey, Gore, how you doing? Reskin a goat to Baby Yoda. Yeah, that would that would be fitting, right? I'm also going to meta and say that this squad actually decided to grow a brain. There's the device, and now we're going to have the uh, other security squad run up. And I'm going to claim that that device has a tracking device on it, so they're going to track what's over there. And I'm going to claim this ATATP also has a brain, and it learns how to drive. teleport you to some um so i'll teleport you but i'm gonna attach teleport you which means i spawn a copy of you and attach him to him because every time i do a regular teleport it seems to crash gotcha. so stand by they're they're very mobile right now so be ready to just go off the get-go I think it was Moon that picked it up. Oh. Ooh. What was that too? That was an AT ATP from the fa uh, FA that decided to go explore why they lost two tanks. So let's hope the other team, because it was Moon that picked up the artifact, so let's hope they, uh, they pull up some smoke and get out of there. But this is two life, guys, so once you're ready, let me know and I'll get you. Oh, there goes Moon. Oh, dear. Take the shot. See if they decide to readjust. I gotta now copy that artifact. And the game continues. Roger. Solid copy. Trying to move them, but now the, uh... I'll give it to them. Fuck it. Because they're about to have some bigger problems right here. The guys that are also looking for it. I think Thromboy is now going to go try to grab it. If he can find Moon's body.
Let's see, we got these two squads to now throw in, so I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now Thrawn has the device. Let's see, Gas got hit a few times fighting with some of the man, uh, the uh, Death Watch dudes. Uh, which mod this uh, is this? It's a mod called LS and 3AS uh, is what they have for a combo here, but you can't spawn any of the 3AS stuff in Zeus. I don't know, it's all very finicky, if you ask me, because um, the mission file wouldn't boot because of the like pilot rolls, for example. But we've got now these guys heading out on the fob. Roger. On and now this gunship come in again, see if it'll do anything. Yeah, no, those guys have regrouped. I will be intercepting them with some uh, security teams just out on patrol, some rifle squads as well, even though the machine gunner doesn't do anything. We can claim that lat was also dropping units off. But yeah, they're going to be pretty mobile here in the Mando. Um, there's another squad of Death Watch they'll run into in a bit, but again, those Death Watch guys are going to keep following them. Again, I want them to run into that group, and we just had something fire big, I think on the... Uh, what you might call it, the uh, Death Watch guys? Yeah, I know, right? All the, in my opinion, all the freaking Star Sim mods that come out are pretty janky because all of them always have the same issue where you can't get past that stupid end loading screen. But let's see. Now that we're actually, you know, taking care of some of the bodies here, I'll go back delete some of the ones on the back line here. We got some of the Mando ones back there too. Let's see if uh, these guys, they might get their tail ends engaged here with the squad again because it's a squad dynamic. They're going super duper slow, but I still have another squad of Mandos I can send. Solid copy. And now these guys seem aggroed by something. But yeah, a lot of them died, so they're all going in as a second wave, which is perfectly fine. But I will eventually, we'll have another firefight between Mandos and the security squad. But I'm trying to claim that this lad is uh, going to track these guys from above because I'm not going to lie, that little red guy is pretty easy to spot in the green forest. So in order for him to go the route I want because he's aggroed by the uh, Death Watch dudes, I'm going to uh, send them around here. Let's see, by splitting these guys apart, I should be able to get them to go where I want. just fighting crime watchers here at this point yeah but they know that lad is uh actually that's a little jank right there it's it's a little higher than that if you ask me but okay but again i'm gonna have it circle yeah so it's right over him now So again, I can be a little cheap claiming this is a Republic planet. That Death Watch guy would have gotten out of there. And then, you know, they've got hordes of people kind of following behind them. On the way. But I'd love to do an intro where I take out the lat with AT from the Mando group. And then, um... The heck was that? Well, that wasn't the Mando group I wanted to use to shoot it down, but all right, that fits. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I think that was a PLX or something because it was two missiles at the same time. The only multi-shot missile launcher I know of in these mods is that. Alright, 
guys are fighting that other sentry team. I am going to cheat again and delete those two squads, say that instead of the Arma AI thinking that they were being super du- That wasn't what I wanted, game. I was trying to- s I literally selected this guy. Okay, that spawned two squads, but you know what? We can make it work. And then we can make all these guys go full speed. So Rally Master's up there, and let's get the uh, last batch of Death Watch guys in here. I'm gonna put another security team down. Standing by. Again, trying to make sure that none of the Mandos would die either. Let's get these guys in accordingly. Set up an ambush. As the Republic is hot on these guys' tail, but they're definitely beating out the AI from going that quick. Full speed, no, they still, um, because the squad leader is still giving orders subconsciously to the AI, um, because, uh, you know, you would hear, like, riflemen, or move 75 meters south, that's one of the classic orders I use, um, they will still slow down, the squad leader might still order them to slow down even if you put it to full. Full helps the squad move quicker, but it's still better to break them apart, which, again, you normally don't want to do because that causes a little more lag, but... On small-scale missions like this, even though it's a massive forest, it doesn't necessarily matter. So Thrawn has the thing. So where's Thrawn? Thrawn's over there. So yeah, I'm going to have these guys go right towards him. But yeah, no, instead these guys kind of, this group was coming right towards them as they were moving there, and, you know, AI be AI. But the AI are not uh, quick enough to kind of follow them through, so be, um, I mean, they're keeping good mobility, but go, uh, good mobility is easy to keep up with. Um, we'll do, we'll do one last squad, a third squad, uh, to be in an ambush position just across the, uh, the riverbed here. Ready. Uh, but again, the AI, they're pretty one-tracked. Copy. Still, you can get away with a lot. But here, we'll keep them in squad formation because I want them to be, uh, side to side. They're not aggroed yet, though, uh, because they haven't detected any gunshots. But even then, they'll, they'll move. But once a gunshot's heard, then they'll kind of skedaddle around. Meanwhile, I like how the clones are moving here, but I don't think it's going to be quick enough. I'll, cross, I'll basically track them to the river, and that's going to be it. While we're literally just jetpacked over. Okay. It's going to be 1v10. But I know these guys have their medical system uh, setting set in their favor, but they can still get, like, headshotted. Let's put them on normal now that they're lined up. Yeah, that should be... That should be it. I'm gonna set these guys to combat crouch. And then set it to a seek and destroy, so they'll hopefully dig in and get cover. You know, I wish I had a hotkey for AI to throw grenades. Like, I've got smoke grenades, sure, but I don't have, like, regular grenades, you know? Like, so I could say to this AI, hey, you know, throw that grenade. Yeah, 
Yeah, so leg shots won't kill him. I crippled him, though. And let's try to break these guys apart on the coast here. And I'll send another one or two lats, but... Contract broker, this is Olympus. Hot copy. This is contractors. Send message Olympus. Over. Contractor, it, it appears that we have made contact with your other uh, group of mercenaries. Um, is there any way that you can contact them and let them know that we are friendly and not hostile? Um... Is he 14 feet tall and carries two rocket launchers? Contractor, this is Olympus. That's gotta be a negative. Half copy. Then I didn't hire them. Over. <laughs> Olympus copies all. Out. Another concept here would be, uh, at least for Project 16's concern, there might be some AOs where they're not going to be the only ones doing the contracts in the mission because it would be open to other people. So, I don't know. I thought that was a good, nice and quick one. Let's see. Yeah, literally like a 30 minute mission with uh, just a little bit of action. Shame they, um, the wait time for it was like 45 minutes because some people are having mod set issues. But yeah, again, like this was kind of thrown together last second because I didn't like the... Uh, I didn't like the other AO I made because the ingress vector would have been absolute cancer and a giant like patch of 400 meters of open desert and on both the far north and far south were vehicles that could snipe them and I'm like yeah no this wouldn't be fun if I was forced to go in this I would just laugh at my commander so it's all good. That just gives me uh, more room to get other things done. Fun fact, the uh, the six to 12 hour class I have to do, or like that has six to 12 hours of work that's due every week. I, uh, I've i started wrapping that up now that I'm able to like, you know, I've done half of it up to the midterm and I was just the final and then the second half of the stuff, but it lightens up a little bit. I've been uh, just bashing all the assignments down uh, today. And I have, uh, like, I started with about 12. Now I'm down to three. Because thank God for Quizlets. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Last thing I could do. Last thing I could do. If I'm quick. If I'm quick. Oh my gosh, why does my middle mouse keep breaking? Okay. No, 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 no. No, watch this. Okay, I didn't have to do that. Uh, Olympus, this is contractor message over. This is Olympus, send it. My panel's freaking the fuck out. Uh, when you, uh, get back, can you, uh, just, like, turn it on for me, please? Thank you. I'm surprised he didn't shoot me. I used the wrong one. Yeah, little thought. Again, it's the little last second thoughts that count. Here, watch this. Oh, cool. Uh, Olympus, this is contract. Whatever you just did, uh, I can, uh, I can 
appear now on the board, so thank you. <laughs> I tracked this a little bit, solid copy. It seems that the uh, Death Watch wanted to do some fucky business with you over. The who? Seems to be another rival clan uh, out there of Mandalorians. They wanted to rain on our parade. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, no, there's there's a there's a dead body right here. Check, cool. Check. Is Rock anyone move. cleared that yellow building? Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall Ron, we? Ron, move to the center building. <laughs> Why are my hands behind my back? Oh, probably because they cable tied me. I'm inside the pub. Or the hut. Hey. Before you give it to him. Hey, next time what you up? ask us to clean up somebody else's mess, you're gonna have to pay double. Right? Okay. Remember, you hire us, and we'll do it right the first time. I got Northwest. Did you at least turn off the tracking device? That's your job. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, that's what I would assume if there are dudes dead in spawn, but... What do I know? I'm just a hologram. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And they shot my, uh, they shot my hollow table, so I'll pay you, uh, let's see, eh, five, six, the contract. These okay. things are expensive. We'll but, um, six. you take that helmet, you figure out where they, they come from. Okay. Ooh, spooky hologram with the helmet. Oh. All right, we're index, by the way. Awesome. Cool. Alright, <laughs> right. thank you so much for watching guys. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. They want me to leave a server on because they're gonna go handle some promotions. Right. So uh we'll yeah. the table, nice quickie. Cheers guys, have a good one. See you tomorrow you. for um project Project to, no Project Twelve phase um What are we? Phase five with a nice commando. So uh with a nice uh interior thing. So cheers, have a good one.